so going on with another sermon journal page so this is where we've gone so far I've just started collaging a few bits and pieces over the inside just put down a few layers of Tim Holtz uh, tissue and I'll add some more things on that as I go along and I get a little bit more uh, you know idea about what I actually want to do there so this is the last page that we did so now I've got a sketch of a tree that I did in a derwent uh, drawing class and um, I used some gel medium because I had some 6B pencils so now that's completely sealed I don't have to worry about smudging it all over the um, the page now I'm leaving this page not cut because I'm resetting the cutouts but what I'd like to do is draw some leaves down the side so I'm just kind of going to do like a, a vine idea I have to figure out how I'm going to orient um, so I'm going to have Okay, now along this, I'm going to have leaves, and wherever the edge is, eventually we will cut this out. So, I'll just fast forward this bit where I'm drawing out, because it's a little bit your own style and idea about how you want to do this. So I'm happy with that and uh, I tend to cut when I'm finished all the colouring. Now I think I'm going to go and do a similar thing down this side but what I'm actually going to, I'm not going to cut it out so it will stay as is over the background. So now I need to think strongly about the kind of background that I want and I tend to do reasonably simple backgrounds. Um, because you don't want to take away from the notes so in this journal I'm never going to do something seriously you know um, fussy but what I am thinking of doing is I'm just going to get my handy reference journal out and we have a course coming out on Crazy Island University about this reference journal and I'm going to go to my watercolour that's watercolour pencils, so we're going to go watercolour paints. Okay, so I've got my watercolour paints and I'm thinking for the background, I really like the Reeves Sap Green, but I want to do some colour changes, so I'm going to pull out a few different colours and I'll be back. Okay, so I've done some washes, uh, you know, got some watercolours out and I'm just going to create a loose wash and that wash is really quite, I just want to dull it down, I've got some olive green here, just dull it down, perfect, a little bit of yellow and bring that in and starting to be the colour that I kind of want it to be. Now. I'm actually choosing to lay this one down dry because I have a book that I'm using and I'm just going to pop like a wooden stamp perfect, uh, no, a bit of high stamp pad, even better right, so what I'm looking to do roughly is a wash and where it hits the matte gel medium it's not going to work nearly as well and I'm going to pop it all over 
this area and I kind of want it to just be a grading wash and any nuances that you actually see in this wash will actually be from the matte gel medium that I've used to seal the drawing because I want the drawing to kind of stand out in the middle and you can really see where the matte gel medium has hit the page and I've scraped it around this drawing and it's interesting to note that when I've done some tests in that reference journal about using watercolours over matte medium so we need to make sure that we have enough particularly for that area there because all the background and that's fine now because I'm now going to mix in a bit of water with uh, Prussian blue that I've got so I've got a Prussian blue here and I'm just going to do a wash and I'm just going to lay it straight over the green but let it bleed where it wants So that I've got that blue green color for me and I'm actually going to spray this with a little bit of water and that's why I love working in this Strathmore journal because you can use it with your watercolors and just grade them down and reactivate just add a bit more in and reactivate And I love this kind of look where you kind of getting the water to just move and and I'm thinking you know I'm gonna let that drip just provide some interest with the water down the page and tissues and cloths and things are your help here because you don't want well I particularly don't want that tree to have that there I'll just get a tissue that's far more absorbent than the cloth just to get into that edge and so I have to replace it back just a little bit but I'm loving how that's coming down and I don't mind any sharp edges that it leaves either and it still gives me um, the ability to be able to um, have a little bit here to write on around the tree so now I'm just adding some of that olive into the blue and making this these different washes and I'm just gonna lightly go over this tree just wanting a little bit in here that's a little bit different rather about the way that I sketched it and just let that sit like that <coughs> and I think I'm going to get a Stabilo all pencil and just sketch in but not water activate just that hint of color and you'll see if I hit water that it will activate but I just want as if it was like a graphite that hint of color but nothing really more than that so that you can still tell that this was a sketch drawing and uh,
Right. That it that it, you know it's not really taken away from it all that much. It's just very very gentle. And now I'm just going to draw in the other side, and I won't make it perfectly symmetrical. Alright, I'm going to speed up the process where I'm going to start colouring in the uh, leaves. Start with the polychromos. 